The Jedi High Council was the ruling body of the Jedi Order. It consisted of 12 Jedi Masters and was led by a Grand Master. Today we'll be covering every individual seen holding one of the seats in the prequel trilogy films. In The Phantom Menace, Yoda was, of course, the Grand Master of the Council, which was a title reserved for the oldest and wisest member of the Order. He held the position for an unknown length of time prior to the invasion of Naboo and kept it until the end of the Clone Wars and the destruction of the Jedi Order. Mace Windu was Yoda's second-in-command, serving as Master of the Order, which was an elected position on the Council. He held that title until the Clone Wars began, stepping down to take a more active role in the conflict. Yoda became Master of the Order in his absence. Mace Windu was one of the first casualties of the Great Jedi Purge, killed at the hands of Darth Sidious. Plo Koon held no additional title outside of Jedi Council member. He was first seen in The Phantom Menace, and he continued to serve on the Council through Attack of the Clones, The Clone Wars, and Revenge of the Sith. He was shot down by his clone troopers above Kato Nemoidia. Ki-Adi Mundi was seen seated to Yoda's right in all three films. He was notably skeptical of the return of the Sith in The Phantom Menace, and has been cited as an example of a Jedi that has lost touch with the spirituality of the Jedi Order. He was killed on Mygido by Commander Bakara and the 21st Nova Corps. Seisi Ten was the Iktachi Master seated next in line. He was one of the Jedi that accompanied Mace Windu to arrest Chancellor Palpatine, and he was killed in the following fight. Yaddle sat next to him and is noted as the only other canon member of Yoda's species. She was nearly half his age, 477 years old by the time of the Phantom Menace. Her absence from the Jedi Council in Attack of the Clones is currently explained by a desire to take a less active role in Jedi affairs, but in Legends, she sacrificed her life to save the people of the planet Maywan. Even PL was a Lannick who could be seen on the Council during the Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. During the Clone Wars, he was imprisoned by the Separatists in the Citadel on Lola Sayu. He was killed during the mission to rescue him. Apo Rancisis was a Thispiasian known to be a tactical genius. He was nearly 200 years old by the time of the Phantom Menace and was the former Padawan of Yaddle. He could be seen serving on the Council throughout the Clone Wars, but his seat was filled by another Jedi in Revenge of the Sith. Despite this, he is known to have survived Order 66 and was being hunted by the Imperial Inquisitors over a year later. Adi Galeo was a Tholothian member of the Council seen in the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and the Clone Wars. She was killed by Savage Opress on the planet Florum. Yarel Poof was a Quirmian master seen only in the Phantom Menace. He is mentioned as having been killed on some unknown mission before the Separatist Crisis, and Legends tells us that he sacrificed his life to save the citizens of Coruscant, although other rumors mention that he survived the Jedi Purge when he went out to get pizza and then went undercover in the Empire itself. Eithkoth was an Iridonian Zabrak also seen on the Council in the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and the Clone Wars, but near the end of the war, for some unknown reason, he was removed from the Council. The decision saved his life for a time, but he was eventually tracked down and killed by Darth Vader and the Imperial Inquisitors. Depa Balaba was the final member of the Council during the Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. An injury sustained during the Clone Wars took her out of active service for a time, and she was replaced on the Council. When she recovered, she returned to the front lines with Caleb Doom as her Padawan. She died during Order 66, saving her apprentice's life. Attack of the Clones introduced two new Jedi Masters to replace Yaddle and Yarel Poof. Colm and Trevor sat in Poof's chair, a Verk who attempted to kill Dooku during the Battle of Geonosis only to be shot dead by Jango Fett. Shock T was a Togruta who spent most of her time in charge of clone trooper training on Kamino. She remained on the Council until Darth Vader's attack on the Jedi Temple, and she was killed by him while she meditated. As the Clone Wars spread across the galaxy, two more Masters were acquired to replace Trevor and Deba Balaba. Kit Fisto was said to have taken Trevor's place, a Nautilin who participated in many battles. He joined Mace Windu on the mission to arrest Palpatine, where he was killed. Obi-Wan Kenobi sat in place of Depa Balaba, a somewhat recently appointed master who could be seen at the center of galactic events from the invasion of Naboo and beyond. As Apo Rancisis left the Council, it would appear that Coleman Kaj replaced him. Unfortunately, very little is known about the character, but he is another confirmed survivor of the Jedi Purge. As the Clone Wars came to an end, the Jedi Council saw the deaths of Even PL and Adi Galea, as well as the removal of Eeth Koth. Galea was replaced by Stas Ali, another Tholothian who happened to be of the same bloodline. She was killed on Seleucami during Order 66. 
Eathcoth was replaced by Agent Kolar, another Iridonian Sabrak who was killed alongside Kit Fisto, Sacy Tin, and Mace Windu at the hands of Darth Sidious. And even PL was replaced by the Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker in an unprecedented move. He was appointed to the Council at the request of Chancellor Palpatine. The Council granted him the seat, but not the rank of Master, which he found to be outrageous and unfair. But he got the last laugh by falling to the dark side, becoming Darth Vader, and taking part in the Council's destruction. Before we close out this list, I have to mention two more Masters that we know sat on the Council prior to the films. Sifo Dyas was a known member who was removed for having some extreme ideas about visions of coming war. He was responsible for ordering the clone army on Kamino before mysteriously vanishing on Felucia. Jocasta Nu was also known to sit on the council until she was appointed to become the chief librarian of the Jedi Archives. She initially survived Order 66, but returned to Coruscant to recover a list of Force-sensitive children where she was discovered and killed by Darth Vader. But that brings us to the end of our list of every known canon Jedi Council member. Who's your favorite member? Let me know in the comments. If you like this comprehensive style video, here's a playlist of them. And if you have ideas for more topics like this, leave them in the comments as well. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.